Today we're going to be going over this process of loading steel into the carousel of a Power Rock T35. The first step in the process is going to be positioning the boom on the machine at an angle to be able to get the steel inside the rod wiper and clamp in the centralizers. For this step, you're going to want to make sure you have someone helping you with the process for safety reasons. Once your boom is in position, you and your partner are going to want to position the steel in front of the rod wiper. Once the steel is through the rod wiper and clamped with the centralizer, you'll thread the drifter on using the cab functions. Once the machine is on, you want to switch your selector to drill mode. Then using your left hand joystick and the toggle switch on top, pressing down the left side is going to clamp your centralizers onto the steel. Once you're clamped onto the centralizers, you're going to feed the drifter down, pushing the left joystick down. And once you're right before the steel, you're going to take your left joystick and push it towards you to thread the steel on. Now that your steel is threaded onto your drifter, you're going to want to unclamp your centralizers using the same toggle but the opposite button. Once unclamped in the centralizers, you want to feed your drifter back. Make sure you feed back until your threads of your steel are in the centralizers. Once this step is done, you can now bring your rod changer arms over and clamp onto your steel. With your steel fed up to feed, you now want to switch into rod changer mode. Open your rod changer arms using the joystick toggle switch push to the bottom. Then you want to feed, swing your rod changer arms out to your steel. Once your rod changers are swung to your steel, you want to use your toggle switch for the jaws to clamp down. Once you're clamped down, you can then use your left rod changer arm joystick and pull the steel up the feed until you're aligned with the carousel. Once you're aligned with the carousel, you can go ahead and hard clamp your jaws on your rod changer arms. Then you want to take your left joystick and pull it away from you to unthread the drifter from the steel. Once you're unthreaded from the steel, you can go back to your rod changer swing joystick and swing the steel into the carousel. Once you're swung into the carousel, you can go ahead and open your jaws using the toggle switch all the way down. Then using the toggle switch next to your jaws, you can rotate the carousel and put the steel safely into the carousel. If you're wanting to remove steel from the carousel, you would essentially backtrack on all the steps. So you will take your carousel swing switch and swing it out into your open rod changer arms. Once the steel is in the rod changer arms, you use your jaws and clamp them onto the steel. Once you're clamped onto the steel, you can use your rod changer swing function and swing it back into the feed. Once you're swung back into the feed, you want to go ahead and take your left joystick and thread the drifter back onto the steel by pushing it to the right towards you. Once your drifter is threaded back onto your steel, you want to change your jaws to a soft clamp. Once you're changed into a soft clamp, you once again use your left joystick and push down to push the steel back through the centralizers. Once the end of your steel is in the centralizers, you can go ahead and open your jaws on your rod changer arms and then swing your rod changer arms back towards the carousel. Once your rod changer arms are back out of the way, you can feed your steel the rest of the way down to the centralizers. And from there, you can either start drilling activities or remove the steel. As always, if you ever have any further questions, you can reference your operations manual for the machine or contact your local service center.